In this exercise, we will create a new project using the project group that we started with at the beginning of the section. So this is what you do if you already have a project group created where you've got all the species that you need. So we click on project and then we click on the new project. And we get the create new project dialog window. And the first step is to decide if it's a steady state or dynamic project. In our case, we're going to be doing a steady state project. Then you'll have a list of all configurations that are available. In our case, Syscad Training, which is the one that we created at the beginning of Section 2, is the one that we're going to use. If you don't see your configuration there, you can click on the Browse button and browse to go and find the configuration that you want to use. Now the configuration sits in the project group. So when we talk about a project group, each project group has its own configuration. So we're using Syscad Training, so we'll click on that, and then we give it a name, the new project name, and we're going to call this TUT ROM, and we'll say Create Project. And Syscad will create that project, and the flow sheet is available for us to start inserting our units. To show you what that looks like, so in Windows Explorer you can see in your folder called Syscad Training, you now have a new folder called TUT underscore ROM, and that's the new project that we've created, which is using the configuration in CFG files. Back in Syscad, we can now start working in this project.